What's up guys, Jake Sleason, Blue Collar Outdoors. We got a toy that's new to the channel. We got the stock choke in her. Stay tuned. All right, so just dropped the unboxing on this. Also filmed how to sight in a reflex to save money and time. So both those videos, the links will be down in the description below just to start out. This is my Mossberg 410. Now, this is not the turkey, as you can tell, it's just black synthetic. This is not the turkey, so it's not drill and tapped. It doesn't come with the turkey extra full extended turkey choke, which probably is a gem. But we went and took this full choke to the shop. I gauge pinned it, it's sitting at 380 and a half. So it is a really, I mean, that's a good constriction. So what we're gonna do is see how it shoots at 40 yards on that crooked target. That's my bad. Not very straight there. But the ammo we're gonna test with is something that's been shooting great out of all our stock chokes. Actually, all our chokes really in general is right here. So we got the Rogue ammunition. This is a 410, three inch, 27, 30 seconds of nines, traveling 1100 feet per second. We've shot this through all our stock chokes and it's shot great. So might as well start here and then get some different chokes in here as this has the same choke threads as the Rossi and Hawks TriStar G2 Viper. So we got a ton of chokes in for this gun already and we got more coming. So let's, let's, uh, let's shoot that turkey at 40 and see how this old grail does with a stock full choke. Once again, not the extra full turkey choke, just stock full. Let's get to it. All right guys, so once again, Mossberg SA410. This is not the turkey, 410. It's just SA410. We have a stock full 380 and a half gauge pin choke in. And we're gonna run the Rogue number nines at that crooked turkey target down there at 40 yards. It's, you said 50 degrees? Yeah, it's 50 on the dot. Feels like 60. Yeah. I feel it. So the weather, we have another roller coaster of weather. Yesterday was freezing. Today it's 50, gonna get up to 60. And uh, you know, got light wind, it's a perfect day for filming, so. And then tomorrow, I think it's supposed to be what, 30, snowing? Sure, I think shitty. so. All right, let's shoot that target. Yeah, I think we're I think we're zeroed pretty good. Maybe a touch low. All right, guys. So we shot it. Let's go check her out and see how the old gale did stock. All right. So once again, the weather's beautiful. There's really no wind. It's like 50 degrees and warming up. That was the Mossberg SA410 with the stock 380 and a half choke in it, running Rogue Nines at 40 yards. Now, as you can see, my shot is not centered here. It is a little low and left, but it's the second second shot with TSS with that. So, okay, so as you can see, even though my shot's low and left, we did get several hits in the spine and one that, that's pretty much a brain hit. It, it's right on the line. And then you got three there, but looking at the core pattern, which looks to be about right here, it's it doesn't have a hot core at 40 yards, which, to me, with this stock choke, this is perfect for a youth hunter. Because guys, if this was centered up, you're going to have a lot more in the brain and spine. And, I mean, look at your leeway. You have a pretty good uniform pattern all the way around the target. I mean, you don't really have too many voids, and this is with nines. Realistically, this, this is not terrible at all for a stock choke. Once again, this is not their extra full stock turkey choke. This is just a stock full choke. And guys, it, it, it shoots those Rogue Nines pretty good at 40 yards. And you guys can imagine for taking youth out and working birds in so they're comfortable taking the shot, you're going to have some good leeway here where they can flinch maybe or pull and still kill a turkey. So it's not, it's not too hot of a core to be really worried about giving it to a youth. So I really like this pattern here. It's not bad. And for it to just be a stock full out of a 410 at 40, that's not bad at all. It's uniform, doesn't have the hottest core, but not bad. Not really a lot of flyers. I like what I see. I can't wait to keep testing this SA410. It's just the start. All right, guys, so once again, that was the first pattern test with my new Mossberg SA410. 
with the stock choke once again that we gauge pin that it's a 380 and a half and we shot rogue number nines that's a three inch 27 30 second ounce of nines traveling 1100 feet per second and guys if you're taking your kid out that's a perfect little rig right there it's light it's a semi-auto and it, it's at a good price point and guys if you wanted to save some money and not get the turkey you could put a meadow creek mount on there cheap red dot i think i have 120 bucks in the optic in the mount total so it's a cheap way to have really good results at 40 yards and it's going to shoot even better working in that's the best case scenario for a youth anyways is work that bird in let them experience spring thunder get that bird strutting and gabbling in that kid's face they'll be hooked but guys if you haven't yet smash the thumbs up drop your comments below let me know what you run with your mossberg how you guys like it if you've shot your stock choke let me know how the SA410 turkey choke stock shoots. If you haven't yet, go down in the description, join our Facebook pattern group, and drop some pictures with this 410. I, I don't see too much of it, and I want to see more. I want to see what to pattern on the channel, what you guys are feeling. So drop your comments below. Let me know what you want to see with it, and we'll shoot it. So let us know. If you haven't yet, go down there, hit that little subscribe button, the notification bell adjacent. So that way, set that notification to all so you do not miss out on all these turkey pattern tests. With this warmer weather, we got ballistic tests coming. We have long range testing coming. We're still getting more ammo, more chokes, more guns in. So we got a lot of new stuff on the channel and I cannot wait for it. So subscribe, get ready for the next one. Well guys, this is Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors. And as always, we'll catch you on the next one. Have a good one.